Every year, parts of India will experience flooding. Nearly 8,000 square kilometers are inundated annually, affecting 30 million Indians. As our climate changes, these floods will become more frequent and more intense, destroying homes and laying low thousands of hectares of crops. Farmers in rural communities are among the worst affected. In severe cases, flooding can bring widespread destitution, from which it is hard to recover. Absence of any scheme of insurance against crop damage due to flood in the market is making the farmers and poor all the more vulnerable. To fill the gap, International Water Management Institute, along with its partners, is introducing a new scheme of insurance towards protecting the farmers against flood damage by using the latest in high-tech satellite technology to solve the problem. Unlike traditional indemnity insurance, index-based flood insurance, IBFI, is an innovative approach. Farmers register with a centralized database. Premiums are set using sophisticated computer models that calculate risk based on past data. The larger goal of this program is to invite the disaster management agencies and the government to say that invest before disaster strike. So when I say that, in investment in the form of premium before the disaster in the form of preparedness wherein the government can invest part of their resources on disaster preparedness measure wherein one such solution is index-based flood insurance, IBFI. So this can be a moral support for the farmers who no need to invest twice and because the damage is much higher when the post-disaster happens. Five districts from one of the regions on the subcontinent most affected by floods have been selected as pilot sites. Muzaffarpur, Darbhanga and Katihar in Bihar and Siraj Ganj and Gaibandha in Bangladesh. Bihar is the most flood-prone state in the country. Over the past 12 years, it has suffered agricultural losses of over 22 billion rupees. It is poor and marginal farmers who are most dependent on agriculture for their incomes and sustenance. Niaz Ahmad, a farmer from Gayakhat village in Muzaffarpur district, has been a victim of recurring annual floods. <laughs> Despite the fact that his house and field are located in a flood-prone area, he, like many others, refuses to leave, as he regards his ancestral land as sacred. When his field is flooded, with his crops washed away, he is left with no option but to work as a daily labourer in nearby towns. The work is not secure and poorly paid, and his family must endure his long absences. But this year, with the IBFI policy behind him, he is more optimistic. When Niaz's field is flooded, crucial data such as the extent of the water, its depth, and how long it stays on his land is collected by an orbiting satellite using a range of state-of-the-art sensors. This eye in the sky sends this remotely collected data to a data processing office, where it is combined with information on land ownership and tenure collected from local representatives or community groups. By analyzing these two sets of data, 
Scientists at the International Water Management Institute can compare the ground situation with the historic data to see whether the threshold for payment agreed with the insurer has been reached. If so, the insurance companies will make the payment by transferring the insured amount directly into Niaz Ahmed's bank account, as this will be linked with loans. Niaz Ahmed would then be notified through a message on his mobile phone that the amount has been credited. बाहर बीमा अगर लागू होता है सरकार अगर उसको लागू करती है तो उससे किसान लोगों को बहुत सहायता मिलेगी किसान लोग खेत आबाद करेंगे और उससे डायरेक्ट पेमेंट होना चाहिए डायरेक्ट अगर सरकार पेमेंट कराती है किसान को तो वो डायरेक्ट ले करके अपना फसल लगाएंगे और उससे लाभ उठाएंगे सो द स्कीम इज गुड न्यूज फॉर फार्मर्स बट इट इज ऑल्सो गुड फॉर इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज अंडर द न्यू सिस्टम it is much harder for the unscrupulous to make fraudulent claims. The satellite imagery can clearly show which land is inundated and which is not. Index insurance products are usually considered very transparent, very objective. The speed of the settlement of the index products is quite fast as compared to the indemnity products. If you have such kind of products that actually works well both for the insurance industry as well as for the farmers because it's a very fair way of settling the claims to ensure success of the new initiative and to improve the product sustainability IWMI is working with a wide range of partners including government agencies banks international research organizations microfinancial institutions, agricultural cooperatives and farmers based on public-private partnership model. As our climate changes, extreme weather is likely to become more common. For rural communities, there is no single solution. The challenge will be to ensure that they can become more resilient, able to cope with extreme events and recover from their effects. This will mean building better infrastructure, improved planning and making the best use of new technologies and techniques. We really like to work with IWMI and the other agencies to see that this pilot is tested and we know what are the challenges, what are the likely sort of barriers or pit pitfalls. I think it is very, very important that we have a buy-in, you know, from the people, the farmers themselves, you see. It is ultimately, they are the main stakeholders, you see. By 2025, one million farmers can be benefited from this scheme across India and Bangladesh. It's a win-win solution for the government, for the farmers and for the local people living in this location, whereby the benefit can be addressed at a larger level and the society will have wider impact. Index-based flood insurance could be a central component for this, a vital safety net for millions of farmers and a cornerstone of climate-smart agriculture.